Hey car enthusiasts, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing this 2025 Volkswagen Jetta. When we come onto the front end, we can see the Volkswagen logo with the chrome bar in the center with the black grille. And then we have these all new gorgeous LED tail lamps with the DRLs. And now when we come onto the side, we have these blacked out alloy wheels. So we have 18 inch alloy wheels up in the front and over on the rear take a couple steps back and as you can see this is the entire side look of the car and i would like to give a shout out to Sioka volkswagen of state college who let me spend some time with this jetta so i can film it for you guys now, now when we come at the back we have the volkswagen logo up in the center we have jetta lettering and then since this is the sc model we have the sc badging and then we have these all new led tail lamps with the indicator backlight this is the rest of the rear and i actually love the cool light bar look at the back as you can see it's all connected at the back in one single unit so it looks like it's uh, connected tail lamps and then that's our bottom bumper down there with the reflectors and now let's pop into the back as you can see this is our door panel with a little bit of hard plastic up here but then we have soft touch down here and we have a speaker built into the door something unique love the styling the soft touch we have storage space cup holder down here power window controls the grab handle and then the door handle chrome awesome and when now, we come onto the seats we can see there are three headrests behind and then we have these cloth seats and as you can see there are buckles for the child seat as well and then we have this we have this all leather seats with this dual coloration with black on the headrest and gray down here and then these are perforated by yeah these are all leather seats to the back real quick and then as you can see i'm 5758 so according to that i have ample of knee room and i have good headroom so i have sufficient i have sufficient headroom and good enough knee room now when we come onto the back it's just basic with no AC vents and then this is the rest of the side but yeah I forgot to mention we have this armrest that pulls down and we have two cup holders with armrest and that's leather and a nice section up at the back and now when we come on to the front we can see this body colored door handles that look good and when we pop back in we have a nice trim up here hard plastic but then we have some soft touch segment over here and then soft touch here and then we have the child lock power window controls the heated mirror option and then to adjust the orvms and then we have storage space cup holders up here grab handle lock and lock button chrome door handle and and as you can see, we have power adjustable seats. So yeah, we have power adjustable seats. And then as you can see, the same trim continues from the back onto the seat, black and then gray double coloration. And then we have like gray perforated seats, leather. Let's and pop then, in. You see Volkswagen welcoming us. And then we have this gorgeous AC vents over here. And then we do have soft touch over the hood we do have soft touch over the hood and then we can close this up as you can see these are our headlight leveler controls and then pretty much we have like uh, traditional stocks for the headlamps and traditional stocks for the wipers and then we have this soft we have this leather wrap steering wheel soft touch all around nice we have some practical controls on the steering wheel that includes changing the track the view and mirror the screens voice command change the infotainment system controls and all and then we have the cruise control controls over here the volume and then then we do have this start engine stop button over here So as you can see, we have the engine start stop button over here. 
and then as you can see we have the fully digital gate cluster and i really like the styling of the fully digital gates cluster and then as you can see we have the newer infotainment system for the Volkswagen and then we have some physical controls for the, the infotainment system and then we have this good AC vents over here down. we have a cool looking air conditioning unit and then we do have USB ports down here some wi a wireless charger down here and then we have some we have wow this is cool sliding bars to adjust the temperature and then this is for the AC to auto this fan speed you can control the fan speed like this and then and we do have heated seats with three modes so that's a plus always having heated seats because it snows over here so heated seats are quite helpful and then, and now then, when we come on to the center we can see we have the electronic parking brake you can switch off the automatic start stop and we have eco driving mode in this and then we have this CVT gear shifter with the 12 volt socket and then as you can see we have cup holders down here as you can see, we have a deep size center console which is magnetic which I really like nice trim up here then I really like this running AC vents all the way across with this silver bar we, have, we do have like an auto dimming IRVM up here and then we have a glass holder up here SOS button and then we do have like lamps over here and then this is to open and close the sunroof and as you can see we have a sunroof I don't know what I would call this because as you know this is a sunroof but a normal moonroof is smaller in size but a panoramic sunroof is usually bigger than this so this is in between a sunroof and a, a panoramic sunroof which I really like and then as you come we have soft touch down here wow i really like its interior it's premium because they've added a lot of soft touch and then this is the glove box and it's a pretty big sized glove box as you can see this is a ski fob it has the volkswagen logo it has lock and lock boot opening remote start let's check the boot space or the trunk space we can just open it from here and as you can see this pops up all the way at the up i just press the button up in the front and then as you can see the i op i press the button in the front and the trunk opens all the way up the trunk opens all the way up and as you can see it's a pretty practical car with a huge trunk space it's a sedan so easy loading of stuff but it's a big trunk you can easily like carry a lot of stuff and, and then as you can see we have this pull tabs we have this pull tabs to set the seats down for more storage but anyways it has a pretty big boot and yeah now let's check out its engine and yeah i forgot to mention it has blind spot monitoring on the mirrors and black bottom with body colored mirrors and this is the lever for the engine bay as you can see there are a lot of cuts and curves on the hood that looks good and then just be careful the hood is quite heavy that shows how awesome it's built and then under the hood we have a turbocharged 1.5 liter four cylinder that goes to a cvt automatic that produces 158 horsepower and 183 pound feet of torque and it gets about 29 miles per gallon in the city and 40 miles per gallon on the highway so as you can see this is the window sticker getting 29 miles per gallon for, for gallon 29 in the city 40 on the highway and as you can see it's a 2025 jetta 1.5 turbocharged liter se engine and as you can see the the total msrp for this is twenty seven thousand nine hundred eighty eight dollars around twenty eight thousand dollars pretty is, premium and you get a lot of features it's a bank for your buck as you can see the new indicators look cool i really like this running design for the new indi for the new turn indicators so 
And now let's check the quality of its back camera. Sound. I like this Volkswagen welcome animation. And press the start stop button. As you can see, the back camera quality is pretty clear. The back and then yeah, it's fixed. It doesn't move with the steering wheel, but the back and then let's set off in the heaven. I won't drive it a lot, but I'll just show you how soft it is. And this is the digital speedometer with the reverse camera. And so look, it looks awesome. And that's how, and then as you can see, the gear it is in illuminates on the gear. Right now you can see it's in P. And then now you can see it's in the D mode. And then now it's in sports mode. And guys, let me know down in the comments was it a car I can review. And then I'll try to bring that review for you guys. And just so you guys know, um, this is the normal Jetta. But if you guys want, if you guys want me to review the GRI version as well, or want me to do a comparison between the SC and the GLI Jetta, then please let me know down in the comments. And I'll try my best to get that comparison and the GLI Jetta video for you as well. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Every like and subscribe counts and uh, share this video with a, as many people as possible so I can get more content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.